Hey guys, welcome back. This is your host, Phil from TheCage.com. Today we got something called the LG Folder 2. Now, this is the name is sold under here in South Korea, stateside. US seller is selling this as LG Wine 2 LTE. This is a very basic feature phone. It's a basic 4G LTE enabled flip phone that does not have many features aside from calling, texting, and a basic web browsing. The very first thing that you see is the phone itself. We're gonna put it there, and under that is the manual battery. It's got replaceable battery, charger with the output of six watts, it's five volts, 1.2 amps, a USB cable, along with a pair of headphones, which I'm very sure that the American version is not gonna contain. It looks like this, it's very basic pair of headphones with the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Nothing special over here. So, the phone itself. Why would you want something like this in the year of 2020? Well, it mostly likely is because first, you're a senior citizen, or secondly, you need something super simple as your work phone. All right, we have the battery here. You can open up the rear cover. Before you install the battery, there's a nano SIM card slot along with the micro SD card expansion slot because it's got eight gigabytes of storage and that's not a lot for some MP3 files that it supports. So if you want to expand that, you can surely do that up to 32 gigabytes. All right, we we'll install the battery and since we're already on the back, here is a speaker. That's the external speaker that's gonna play music, play ringtones. And next to that is an emergency button. You click that three times and it's gonna send an emergency message to a pre-stored contact that you are in a not so good situation. As you can see, it's a flip phone and it comes with external display, which is a very rare treat in the 4G LTE feature phone market for some reason. Over that is a two megapixels of camera, nothing fancy. It doesn't even come with the autofocus. Opening it up reveals 2.8 inches of QVJ display. Again, nothing fancy, but I'm pretty sure the target demographics is not gonna be very picky about the screen resolution. On top of that is a receiver for your phone calls. I tried that, it's pretty loud. Under that is an LG logo along with the keypad. The menu key, audio recording button, D-pad, camera shortcut, call, clear, end, and the rest of the number buttons. There's nothing on the right hand side except for the strap hole where you can tie in your cell phone straps. We haven't seen this for a while. This classic phone still has it. On the left hand side is a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and a volume rocker. On the bottom is a micro USB port and that's pretty much it. It's not so big and bulky, not so heavy, just a good old simple flip phone with the taste of 4G LTE. All right, the phone is booted up and what you see here is a heavily modified version of Android 8.1. Yes, it is based on Android, but you cannot install any apps, hence the name basic or feature phone. It works just like the old school phones. You press the center key for menu. Here are a list of things that you can do. And interestingly, as you can see from the top status bar, there is Wi-Fi built in. Through that, you can update your phone's software and there is even a nifty web browser built in. Um, this is not a touch screen. Enter the web address you want to go to and use a little cursor there. And you can surprisingly go to the web version of YouTube and watch some videos if you really want to. Other than that, there's messaging, context, gallery, of course, FM radio, surprisingly, is built in, music player, internet, calendar, tools, and settings. Inside the tools menu, there is the AI voice assistant that only works in Korean. There's a voice recorder, alarm, hourly signals that lets you know what time it is every hour. There's a wall clock, timer, stopwatch, calculator, notepad, file manager that does let you peek inside the file system, but you can't do much. It doesn't support that many file types. There are some interesting menus under settings. There's data settings lock, meaning you can set a password and lock the 4G LTE data connection if you don't want to use up your data allowance. Readout, TTS mode, larger text, color inversion, yada, yada, yada. Sound and notifications, sound and vibration, ringtones, keypad sound, all the basics, display. Um, surprisingly, there are different types of fonts. There's Roboto, LG Smart, Kind, Gothic, Friend, Travel, Yo-Yo, all different types of fonts that you can choose from. Of course, you can enlarge the font. Phone setting language, key shortcuts, SOS mode, USB connection, all the basic things that you might need. Now, what I notice about this phone is it's got a smaller screen than the previous one. It does limit the number of items that you see on one screen. There's not that many to display anyway, but the newer one having a shorter screen is a bit of a bummer. And the last model had five megapixels of autofocus enabled camera. Now this one, although I do like the position better being on top, but now this one is only two megapixels without the autofocus. I know that this is no Galaxy S20 Ultra aimed for photographers, but getting rid of the autofocus seems a bit harsh. 
The rest of the things are pretty much the same. They both got a Snapdragon 220 quad-core processor, a gigabyte of RAM, 8 gigabytes of expandable storage, and 1450 milliamps of compatible replaceable batteries. And thanks to the shorter screen, the phone now is a tad shorter than the previous one. All right, so that was a quick look on the LG Folder 2 or LG Wine 2 LTE in some reasons or carriers. It's one of the very few last standing feature phones. It's even got the external display, which is almost extinct now. Doesn't do much, but it's there at least. If you're in a market for a simple button driven feature phone, then this could be your option or maybe the only option available. These things are not exactly cheap, so if you don't specifically need a basic feature phone, you'll be much better off buying something else with the larger touchscreen and better cameras, you know, a, a smartphone. All right, so that was the LG Folder 2. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. You can always meet us on Instagram and Facebook. We'll see you guys later. Ciao.